Let's all turn to 212 in the hymnal and let's stand. Good evening and welcome. It's good to see the faithful in the house of God tonight. And we trust that uh, you will receive this warm uh, welcome. To, I understand that in the next couple of days we're going to need it. So uh, if you can package it up, do that and take it with you. I have a couple of announcements before we uh, officially begin with our call to worship uh, tonight. First of all, if you didn't get a candle on your way in, you'll want to slip up your hand and the ushers will get one to you. Is there anybody who didn't get a candle? If uh, I don't see anybody. Great. That's good news. Uh, at the end of the service, we're going to invite you to, uh, after we've lit our candles and sung together, uh, to proceed out through the front doors here. And, and when you leave, uh, we have uh, some magnets that have our theme for tonight, a kind of a fridge magnet. Uh, I don't know if everybody needs one. There's probably only one fridge in the household, but uh, I know that uh, for some children, they'll want their own, and so we got plenty of those. Make sure you, when you turn in your candle, pick up a magnet. And uh, through this Christmas season, uh, to our guests, uh, we've been uh, sharing with them a read aloud bedtime Bible story book. Uh, it goes through the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, uh, 365 read aloud stories, and if your family doesn't have one, make sure you pick up one uh, off of the table where the magnets are as well as our gift to you this Christmas season. 
Before I call to worship, I'd like to invite you to take the blue hymnal in the pew in front of you there, in the pew rack, and uh, turn to number 665 and join me in the call to worship. Number 665. Six, six, five. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to all people on earth. Today a Savior is born to us, Christ the Lord. Let all the earth rejoice in God's great gift. Let us pray. Come, child of Bethlehem, make your presence known to us and dwell in our midst as we worship tonight. Come, servant king, teach us the ways of your kingdom and make our hearts your throne. Come, brother of all, show us the meaning of our humanity. Go before us and lead us to God. Bring us to the fullness of your kingdom. Amen. I invite you to turn to number 201. 201, hark. The herald angels sing. We'll remain seated because we're only doing verse 1. be reading Luke 1 verses 31 to 33. You will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Now we'll turn to 189. To us a child is, of hope is born. And let's stand for this one. And while they were there, the time game came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Luke 2, 6-7. 
Our time of waiting is over. Christmas is here. Our days of preparation are completed. What has not been done will now have to be left undone. We have decided to let it be, to do things God's way rather than our own, and to be satisfied with God's will. We light the central candle, reminding us that Christ is the light of the world, the center of our lives, the shining beacon of hope for all the universe. Christ is born. Praise God. So for this one, you are just going to sing the uh, refrain at the end, uh, though I'm going to ask you all to sing with me on the fourth verse. So I'm going to sing the first three, and you'll sing all of the refrains, and then the fourth. T'was in the moon of winter time when all the birds had fled. The mighty Gijimanu to send danger was instead. Before the light, the stars grew dim. 
Luke chapter 2, verse 10. The angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Let's stand to sing 197, Angels We Have Heard on High. Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Luke 2 11. I will stay seated for this one. Uh, first two verses of 195 that came upon a midnight. Thank you. 
just heard a great word. Miriam told me that we're running ahead of schedule. I can fix that. <clears throat> the song, I Wonder As I Wander, may not be the first carol you think of at Christmas, but like many other carols, so you may have to pay attention to get the words right. You know, there are famous carols that uh, get things mixed up, or at least some people get things mixed up on them. You may have heard of We Three Kings of Porridge and Tar, or Joy to the World, The Lord Has Gum, or the little boy who sang out clearly, Round John Virgin, Mother and Child, or Don We Now, Our Days of Peril. I was reminded of this recently while singing, I Wonder As I Wander. Maybe you know the first verse of that song. It goes like this. I won't sing it for you, but I wonder as I wander out under the sky how Jesus the Savior did come for to die for poor ornery people like you and I. I wonder as I wander out under the sky. And it kind of took my breath away. I always thought it was ordinary people. And the hymn writer wrote, ornery people. Do you know any ornery people? Wow. Well, I've been called ornery sometimes. But I've often, or almost always, thought of myself as ordinary. I grew up in an ordinary family. My guess is my family is about as ordinary as any family. And it's also true that Christmas time may just bring out the orneriness of my family, if you know what I mean. You may live in a family too. Does Christmas bring the best or the worst out in you? How do you make the decisions where to go for Christmas? How do you decide whose Christmas Eve service to go to? Thank you for all being here. Hope that wasn't too tough of a decision. I hope you're not sitting there on your hands. Hmm. Real tree, artificial tree. So many decisions. You put icicles on the tree or no? Do you have a theme about decorating your Christmas tree? How about gift giving? Do you give to everybody in the family or do you draw names? If you draw names, is there a set figure of how much to spend? Do you ever have problems deciding that? Oh. Probably not. Well, like I was saying, I thought I was ordinary and my family too. I remember some years ago when my children were young and uh, traveling at Christmas time was always a challenge. When we lived in Indiana, we had 11 hours to Miriam's home in Pennsylvania and we had about seven hours to my home in Ontario. So how do we get it all done? How do we do it all? How do we Please, everybody. I remember one year, I sent my parents four dates that would work for us in our calendar. Well, after about a week, I got a note from my father. They picked a fifth date. <laughs> All of a sudden, I realized that my ornery spirit had some legitimate roots was in the genes, you might say. After a lot of anguish, I picked up the phone and called my dad and told him we wouldn't be there for Christmas. And then I quickly hung up the phone. And then I found out another realization. I am not the favored child in our, my, our family. Ordinary or ornery? Was it an ordinary night or was it an ornery night on the hillside? Was it an ordinary hillside or was it an ornery hillside that those shepherds were on? Was it an ornery group of shepherds or was it an ordinary group of shepherds? Was it an ordinary flock of sheep? Or was it an ornery flock of sheep? When we put the pieces together, 
and the hymn writers tell us, say, follow the scriptures. It was an ordinary night, and it was an ordinary hillside, and it was an ordinary group of shepherds with an ordinary flock of sheep. But then something extraordinary happened. God showed up, and I like that. God changed everything that night, as already has been read for us. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. That's according to the NIV translation. I love the familiar King James. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. When was your today? When did you hear for the very first time and understand that God cared enough to come to you, to make his way into this world for you? When was your day that you understood God's offer of peace and salvation for your life. Whatever that day was, celebrate it. Perhaps today you need to refresh it, renew it today. If you've never had a day or a today experience, it would be perfect to make it tonight. Like me, you're probably as ordinary as the shepherds on that ordinary night that became extraordinary because God showed up. But if you are ordinary, that makes you the perfect candidate for God's appearing today. I'd be happy to talk with anyone after the service today if today is the day for you. Make it an extraordinary day in your life. I believe that God is excited about surprising us and surprising you this Christmas. God wants to be your savior, your prince of peace. Listen, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day, in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward all. Amen. John 1, verse 14. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. I will sing verse 2 of Hark the Herald.
To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Revelations 5.13 Let's stand to sing verse 3. Kneel with shepherds now before him. Come with wise men to adore him. Join the heavenly chorus. Forever let the praise resound. For love so precious, so profound. Jesus Christ, born for us. Lord Jesus, you are the one true light. You have come into the world in goodness, wisdom, and forgiveness to scatter the darkness of sin and confusion. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Glory to the newborn King. Teach me to walk in the light, my King, following you step by step throughout my life's journey. Amen. Now you can turn to 193, though it may be dark. I'll try to lead you as best I can. So 